Christina here from Planet Farm. So uh, we're going to do move number 21, which is uh, the bridge. So uh, a bridge. So we will start off by lying here. And uh, this move again for folks. <laughs> you you they might see me. Um, so uh, with this move, we are also trying to focus on the engagement, the lengthening. Um, and not to uh, over bend the back. So uh, this, your feet can be in different positions depending on how you will be doing this move. But in this instance now we're just going to do a basic one. So we have our feet parallel, fist distance apart to line up with our hips to stay in a neutral position. From there I do a pelvic tilt. Like always, when we bend our knees in a lying position, it's very easy to come into this tucked position when your lower back is pressing down. So we don't want that. We want to operate from a neutral uh, spine. So we are going to do our pelvic tilt, find our neutral and stop there. Then from there, I move up my body checklist and I'm pressing down a little bit on my ribcage, just engaging a little more in the power habit. So from now when I inhale and exhale, I try to connect and center my breathing. Then we have our chin, where chin is nodded slightly forward. We relax the shoulders away from our edge neck, so to say, connecting our lats, they are engaged. So here I'm now lying in a neutral position. And from here, I'm going to start first with a little warm up and it's an articulation from the spine. Uh, as we lift up. So we're going to tilt pelvis forward as much as we can. So I'm arching off the floor slightly more than I was before. And then from there I'm going to start tucking under. So I'm tilting pelvis towards me. And as I do that I feel my lower back pushing into the ground. And as it does I squeeze my butt and I lift the, the, off the, my spine one vertebra at a time off the floor. And as I then uh, come up, I send inhale slowly as I come back down one vertebra at a time. Excellent. And then do that one more time. So one vertebra at a time, lift up. And then we're slowly coming down. Nice and easy. One vertebra at a time. Lovely. So that's just a good stretch, a little bit of a mobility work. From here, we're coming in for neutral. So I do a double check on my pelvis. And then from here, I inhale to prepare and exhale, I lift up. When I lift up here now, here I am at my max. I will squeeze my belly as I exhale as I come up. I will feel a stretch in my quads and that depends on how tight you are. You might feel it more than others. And then I'm um, really engaging my glutes. My back body, my lower back muscles are also quite engaged to hold me into this position. What we don't want is that the ribcage opens up and I overlift like I do here. Now I've come too high. My spine is no longer in neutral. I'm back bending as I'm lifting up. But that's too high. So we come down and I stop in neutral. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And I'm squeezing. Now, depending on my feet are, different body parts are going to work. If I bring my legs further forward, I will work more into my hamstrings as I lift up. I can sometimes work on my tippy toes, or sometimes you lift one leg. That means your core has to work more and you're isolated. What you don't want is then that the hip drops down, so you keep it nice and straight. So there's lots of ways we can work this, but the core of the movement is that we're staying very controlled. We know where our neutral is, uh, and we don't overextend as we come up into a uh, back bridge and go up too high. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great move to really strengthen the back body. It does give a, uh, uh, engaging a lot through your core as well, but it's mainly, it works really the back uh, of you. Now he's going up there and ruining it, my camera. Anyways, I uh, hope that helped. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, stay happy, healthy, 